I, I've always loved martial arts. I just thought throwing kicks and punches was cool. So as a little boy, I was just like, ah, that's just fun. That's cool. I remember watching uh, UFC 1 with my cousins. I remember telling them, I'm going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight in the UFC. And I was only like 9 or 10 years old, but I knew I was going to do it. A little bit rugged part of Albuquerque right here. South Central. I had got into some, some good street fights where I fought some really big, tough guys and came out on top and, and I, I realized, you know, okay, you know, I, I think I'm pretty good at this. And I was a state champion wrestler, so, so I, I was pretty good at getting guys down and that's when I realized, okay, you know what, maybe I can do this. And um, I started training with Greg Jackson. In the old days when we were from Albuquerque and we would go all over the world to fight, nobody ever expected us to win. No one has heard of Albuquerque, New Mexico. I mean, he really kind of put us on the map. He was the guy that bridged uh, where we were to where we were going. This was my very first MMA fight. I was down in the gym in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Me and Greg drove ourselves down and got the arm bar in 30 seconds. One after another after another, we kept winning and winning and winning and winning. This was my first uh, big magazine cover shot in Hollywood. I was like, I could do it. I could go undefeated. Diego Sanchez! Diego Sanchez is the ultimate fighter! I think the ultimate fighter changed Diego's life because all of a sudden he was just skyrocketed to the highest level of fame that you can get in the MMA. I think that was a lot for him to handle at such a young age. Oh, he got hurt. Diego Sanchez is a monster. This was the first time in my life I had money, I had fame, I had opportunity. Sanchez looks tremendous. His striking has improved incredibly. Diego was on an incredible streak. I think he won 17 fights in a row. I was going for the belt. I was real close to getting to the belt. Then I moved to San Diego. I had the fame at an all-time high, you know what I mean? I just felt fight of the year, and I was gonna be fighting for the world championship, and I just, I just got wild. I became a single bachelor, and I was drinking, I was smoking, had some bad influences around me, and my MMA went down. This is my opportunity, this is my dream. I mean, it came crashing down, man. I lost the fight with BJ Penn. Got my head split open. BJ with a high kick that opened up the cut. Diego Diego's a That was the worst outing of my career. I should have been humbled there, but it didn't. It didn't stop because then I had a lot more money. All of a sudden, rock bottom, man. I'll never forget the moment. Sitting in a hotel in Vegas, just ordering room service, and they're like, your, your card's declined. I'm like, no way. You know, I should have had like at least another 150,000 in my bank, you know, and I, I had this guy that was my best friend that had just robbed me so bad. He did a Ponzi scheme on me. Just empty my account. Rock bottom, you know what I mean? I, I had to hit rock bottom to to snap out of snap out of the life I was living. Honestly, you know what what that guy did to me was like the best blessing that ever happened to me because I I got my life together. When I found out that Diego wanted to come back, I was just happy. You know, I always considered him a friend. I was happy that he was going to be coming home and coming back to training. And uh, when he came back, it was like a whole new Diego. He was humble and and wanted to work hard. He always told me, he said, you know, this is your house, this is your home. You know, that door's always open to you. My brother. My brother. He went through his time with fame and uh, was able to come back and, and kind of reassert himself. And not everybody can do that. I've done everything possible wrong that an athlete could do. And um, I learned from it. And I finally got my act together and grew up.
Diego and I first met, I was a wrestling manager and he was um, a junior on the wrestling team. And he just really stood out. Bernadette was the most beautiful girl I ever seen. Twelve years later, Diego and I actually hooked up through Facebook. One day he just said, let's go out to dinner and um, sat there at the restaurant for six hours and talked and talked, didn't even eat our food. <laughs> It was perfect timing in my life where I was so tired of doing everything on my own and I was just ready. Three months later, we were married. She's the best thing that's ever happened in my life. Oh, good job. One, two, come on, you could do it. My son and I are excessively blessed to have Diego in our life. He's a really good influence. It's just a blessing to me. You know, I never thought I'd take in a son the way I did him. Those are the things that I fight for now, and I'm coming back strong. Diego! The dream! Sanchez! I'm just waiting to show my best because never in that octagon did I really truly show my best. A pure heart, a pure mind, a pure soul, and um, I'm, I'm excited to get in there and do that. But Diego! I'm excited to, to see how far I can go, you know, with my head on my shoulders right. Teeing off here late in the fight, Diego Sanchez is back! Wow, that might have been his best performance in the octagon. If I could tell that young Diego Sanchez anything, anything, it wouldn't matter because he wouldn't listen anyway.